Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Lim and I'm the director of workshops here at College Essay Guy. If we haven't met before, I used to be a high school English teacher at a public school and I'm still an educator at heart. Today I'm going to go over some free and low cost resources that will help you elevate your college essay workshops. When I would teach my students writing, I would tell them that in order to become a better writer, you needed to know two things the purpose and the audience. But I believe this is true for any type of communication, even like when we're doing college essay workshops. I believe that it's really important to know what your purpose is and your audience. So let's start with the purpose of the college essay workshops. Overall, what we're trying to do is help them get a solid foundation for them to start. An underlying purpose is also to save us time because oftentimes if they get a good start, they'll have solid drafts and we'll spend a lot less office hours kind of helping them through the process if they're able to get a really solid foundation. And it saves a lot of time because you're conveying a ton of information all at once to a bunch of students. But who is our audience? Our audience, yes, they're teenagers and often rising seniors, but they are also Gen Z. Gen Z grew up very differently than the way we grew up. And so as our audience changes, we need to try to change the way we teach them. Here are some characteristics of who Gen Z is. Here are some notable ones though. These are students who prefer digital learning because not because of COVID or virtual learning that they experienced, but because technology was always easily accessible to them since they were born. Another thing to know is yes, teenagers tend to have shorter attention spans, but Gen Z is at a different level. Actually, I don't think it's their fault. I think it's the generation that they're growing up in. I don't know if you've ever seen a teenager um, scrolling through TikTok, but even adults looking at how they do it, they are so used to short form content. And so they want things to be interactive, short form, visually engaging, and they actually like to be involved with things in their learning rather than passively listening. They also prefer different learning styles to be acknowledged. And also they prefer raw, real, and relevant content. Did you know that digital cameras and disposable cameras are trendy again? Uh, students are really into apps like Be Real or Laps where the content that they're putting out is real, is not as filtered or edited, and that's what they want in their lives, in the content that's being delivered to them. So knowing these characteristics about Gen Z, we can actually provide resources that will help them in their learning so that they're retaining some of that information better and our purpose is being fulfilled. Since students prefer digital learning at College Essay Guy, we actually put our workbooks into Google Docs. And when we give students comments, we actually do them entirely on Google Docs so that we can actively comment, engage with what they're actually writing and go back and forth with um, some of their thoughts and some of their changes. So we do highly recommend Google Docs. Um, you can use them within Google Classroom. I know the students don't Love all the email notifications on Google Classroom, but it is a great efficient tool. Since Gen Z tends to have shorter attention spans, they like active learning, um, they like visually engaging things, and they prefer lots of different learning styles. A great, great tool are engagement platforms like Pear Deck and Nearpod. These are extensions that you can add to your Google Slides. And it's amazing because students can do things like drag their answers or even sometimes draw pictures or overall, like the way we use it is that they will answer questions live into a box and then we can actually read all of their answers in real time. So even if there are six students or 60 students or hundreds of students, as a facilitator, we can actually read all of their answers and they know that we're reading them. And so it is a lot more engaging than somebody just kind of talking at them. And so it's a really, really wonderful tool to have that kind of more of a dialogue because what happens is students can safely share what they're really feeling, except it's anonymous to the public facing platform. We can see their names, but it's amazing because students have vocalized that they feel seen in this process even if they're sitting in a room with lots of their peers. When I was teaching during the pandemic, I personally used Pear Deck and it was provided by my district. So I didn't have to pay for the pr uh, premium version, but honestly, if I was still teaching and they didn't provide it for me, I think I would pay for the subscription. This is not sponsored in any way, uh, but it's such a useful tool because you can actually preview the answers 
before it's displayed to all the students. And um, my husband's school uses Nearpod and it is provided for them as well. So you never know, maybe your school or district is already providing it, but it tends to be pretty low cost to get um, the program added to your platform. Another great tool to use is this program that I'm using right now called mm -hmm. So mm -hmm allows you to embed yourself into slides and it's super easy. This version is free. I don't even know if there is a premium version, but this is everything that you need. You can even use it in like Zoom meetings. And it's just very cool because it's like a little bit different than your typical slideshow or video. And um, it's actually pretty fun to use. The last resource is a wonderful database of just really awesome looking slides. And you go to slidesgo.com and you'll be able to really up level some of those basic slide templates that exist on Google Slides. This again, is not sponsored at all. <laughs> there are free and premium versions of it. And the one that I'm using right now is a, a free one. And if you've gotten to this point and you're like, I can't do this on my own, that's totally okay. We can actually come to your school or community-based organization and do the workshops for you. If you go to our website here at collegeessayguide.com slash workshops, you'll see our menu of different options and even a short video on how we use engagement platforms like Pear Deck during our session. Feel free to even email me at hana at collegeessayguide.com. There's only one in my name and I look forward to meeting with you.